I mean, I guess there's some patterns that uh, that you can find online that are just ridiculously hard. And those are always fun and challenging in their own right. But out here on tour, uh, some of the past US Open patterns have been the hardest and most challenging. I think it has to be like, uh, you know, like a 40 foot flat, like US Open type pattern. Dead flat US Open pattern where it was 40 feet. Flat pattern at the way ball at the US Open a couple of times. The short pattern at the US Open in Wichita. They were dead flat, one to one. Uh, it was like 37, completely flat. Flat, one to one. Scores were insanely low. I think the cut backed up like 60 or 70 pins that day. People were doing just about anything to hit the head pin. If you went minus 20, so you were probably in the top 10. Eight. The slightest mistake was you were getting six, so it, it was tough. That was basically impossible. I remember Norm Duke bowled 100 over and he was like the only guy plus. I mean, just Norm doing Norm things. Average 170 on the day and it never made me feel smaller because I feel like I bowled great and I couldn't really do too much more about it. So uh, that was definitely the one that uh, ate, ate my lunch a few times. I didn't know what to do. I tried everything and it just was not, was not it. It's always the hardest ones to bowl on because there's literally no room for error. Like you miss, you miss a little bit right, the ball just keeps going because there's no friction to slow it down. You miss a little bit left. There's no extra oil to hold it there. The hardest pattern I ever bowled on was probably the 2005 US Open, I think, whatever year Chris Barnes won. That was the first time I ever bowled like a real uh, major. Um, and it was you know, my initiation to the PBA Tour. I wasn't even a member yet, and I uh, ended up finishing sixth. And I just remember there was no guesswork when the ball left your hand, whether it was good or not. You know, it, it, they let you know immediately, and I think I might have averaged like 206 or 7 or something, and I finished sixth six place, so that was that was pretty brutal. The cheetah pattern when we bowled in Jonesboro, Arkansas one year, I averaged 201 and finished fifth or something like that. It was just absolutely brutal, but I loved every second of it. <laughs> you know, the pattern itself is something we bowled on multiple times, but in Coldwater, Ohio, one of our summer events each year, it's the hardest center we bowl at. And one of the patterns that, generally speaking, was pretty high scoring, and it was impossible. Anything in Coldwater, Ohio, I mean, it doesn't matter what they put out, but they, they try to make it challenging. I bowled like 201 game two, and I was in like third place. It was insane. But it's one of my favorite places to bowl. It's, it's, it's very, very difficult. Uh, my ball actually strikes there. Not too many people's ball do. Uh, Chris Vi comes to mind. His ball strikes there, but anything involved with Coldwater, Ohio is definitely the hardest I've ever bowled. A few come to mind. I was bowling a tournament back home as part of our regional tour, and they put down, it was a dual paint event. It was short on the right lane and long on the left. It was supposed to play like 46 feet, it played like 55. So my, my ball just never hooked, no matter what I did. I think I qualified somewhere in the top 10 at like minus 50. Scores were not high at all. <laughs> I would just go with uh, the pattern they put out at the USBC Masters when we bowled in Syracuse, just because that was my that was my worst tournament on tour ever. Uh, <laughs> so I don't remember what the pattern was, but that was probably the hardest one for me. I never really figured it out. The Masters pattern from this year. <laughs> it, it was the combination of the of the of the building with the pattern and the machines we used. It just it made them brutal. I mean, but it was the good kind of hard. They were they were they were, they were good. They're fun to bowl. Probably anything that uh, WSU put out in college for, uh, for trial, uh, the, the team like qualification trials. I mean, we bowl on something that's like 55 feet and absolutely flooded. Uh, and then we bowl like a couple lanes over is something that's like 15 feet of oil and then the rest is dry. And they don't tell you what they're putting out. You're trying to make the team, so it's very high stress. Uh, not a lot of strikes. It's it's all about hitting the head pin and you know like 230 or 240 is like remarkable. They're impossible. <laughs>